Hi makeup friends, I hope you all are doing well. I promised you guys a part two to this video and you guys are seeing me in the same look because I'm trying to film a couple of videos for you guys that I had on my list to be completed. So in this video, this is a part two to the first video I did where I showed you five drugstore products that I think you definitely need to try or should have in your collection. And in this one, I'm going to do five high-end products that I really think are worth the money with the try with you having they are absolutely worth it in my opinion to just try one one of these items or all because these items are super super fantastic and how I could make this determination of these products being five fantastic high-end products you should try is because if any of these products were to get lost or be misplaced or used up or anything like that I can definitely see myself purchasing these things repurchasing these things in a heartbeat just because these products are so great so I'm going to show you each of the products that I'm talking about and I'm just going to give you a little insight into each one of them and to tell you why I really think that they are worth the money so I'm kind of gonna try to go in order um, as to how I would apply stuff to my face but we'll see so the first product I'm gonna talk about is a primer now I personally think that if you were going to spend money on high-end products for your makeup it definitely should be from your prime for your primers or for your foundation you can always get a great look if you have a drugstore palette if you have drug drugstore lippies or blush or, or bronzer you definitely can use drugstore things for that and you will get a fantastic look now there are I'm not I'm not saying that drugs or primers or foundations or whatever aren't good they are really good ones they're fantastic ones that i enjoy but these high-end ones i've not come across anything like it and i just think that they are really really worth the money if you are going to spend money on makeup high-end makeup i would definitely suggest it to be your primer or your foundation because that is the basis of your look so when i go when i go to sephora or when I travel I definitely have a lot of primers and foundations on my list before lippies and palettes and all of those things I really love those high-end things as well but I really try to get some high-end primers and some high-end foundations to last me because those things work really really well in my opinion so the first product I'm gonna talk to you about this is the hourglass mineral veil primer this is um, one that I'm almost finished with I do have a backup of the same size I have yet to purchase a full size of this because it is really expensive this little travel size now this is a glass bottle this little travel size it almost reminds me of like a Mac excuse me like a Mac concealer same glass bottle and it comes with a pump so this little travel size one is about 20 us and then the full size hourglass primer is about 55 us i want to say between 50 to 55 us dollars it is very pricey for a primer but when i tell you this makes your makeup look amazing now this does have SPF 15 in it so it is really great to wear during the day um, you will get some flashback with this if you use it in the night and then do take a picture with flash now I tend to use this any time of the day and then if I do take um, a picture at night I just try not to do it with flash and I don't think I've gotten a problem other than that if, if I have done it with flash when I've taken a picture with flash with this I did get flashback but this this primer is really really great to wear any day but I wear this any damn feel any time I feel to freaking wear it because it makes your skin look so good so it is a white primer I pump out a tiny little bit here because it's damn expensive I'm just gonna blend it in to show you guys it doesn't really leave um, a white cast it leaves a tiny tiny little tinge of white but that goes away from the time that you um, put your foundation and stuff on top of this now this does have a very I don't want to say slick I want to say it's like a very smooth smooth feeling um, 
So the name of this is Mineral Veil Primer and it absolutely makes your skin be so smooth. Now this is fantastic for people who have oily skin because I have very oily skin and this primer keeps me matte for hours and hours and hours. So one of the reasons that I really really love it is because it keeps me matte for so long and then the second reason that I really really love it is because it smooths out the texture of your skin so much. I don't have it on today, I have on different primers because I am testing out a new um mix of foundations that I mixed up so I do have one like very mattifying primers on the center of my face and stuff just to see how well that mixture of foundation works but I recommend this primer a hundred percent it is really really good and this little sample size because I don't use it every single day and I do have tons of primers and I can reserve this for special um special dinners or I can reserve I even if I use this quite often this still lasts me a really long time I want to say that I have had this one for about maybe eight months and I, it still has in it so this does last you quite a while you don't need to use a lot of it because it a little does go a long way I just put a little dab down and just spread it out like that and then this does keep me matte and it does keep me um it does make my my makeup go on so so smoothly and it provides sun protection if you are going to wear it in the day so this this primer is really really worth it it is pricey but if you're going to spend your money on makeup let it be your base or your foundation fantastic that is your first one then moving on to another product that I find to be really, really good. This is my NARS All Day Luminous, All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And I have the color Valaris. I was matched in store for this. You can try to go to foundation.com and that kind of helps you to uh, mix and match your foundations it does ask you for previous brands that you've used and the colors and it will kind of work up a little um mix if you will of different foundations that will match you i still don't know if i would rely on that a hundred percent i prefer to go and get matched in store and there are a lot of local sellers you can go get matched by you can go to julin you can go to belarus they have outlets i believe in shagonas and down south um you can go to posh by diana all of those places do have um foundations and they do test you for it i also believe the glam box as well and they are located in saint augustine so there are tons of places you can go to get match for these foundations this foundation does come with a pump now this this foundation does say luminous but um it, it doesn't last like a whole hell of a lot a long time because i do have oily skin i probably can get about four hours wear out of this foundation before i do need to blot because it is a more thin watery um foundation but the finish on this it makes your skin just look so healthy so glowy so fresh and young and you know some foundations can be very drying and make your face look cakey and i find when you use more drying foundations you look even older than you should look it just makes you look cracky and wrinkly and this is not the case with this foundation this foundation is freaking and this and this together oh god you're gonna look so banging if you mix these two together that primer and this freaking foundation this is my absolute favorite high-end foundation that i've ever purchased i did really really love my lancome foundation but that one still is a bit thick and if you do go heavy-handed with the lancome it will look cakey but this one i usually do two layers with my beauty blender it is a very thin watery foundation but it can be built up but the finish of this on your skin is worth it worth it worth it you look healthy and young and your skin just looks fantastic so i highly recommend this um foundation and these foundations and stuff last me for a while because i do have different ones and i don't use this every single time that i do my makeup but i do pull for this more so over any other foundation that i do have and i do have like mark jacobs i have lancome i have fenty i have other high-end ones but this one is my absolute favorite just for how it makes my skin look and it blends out in two twos quick 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 and you can use it with a brush or a sponge it works beautifully both ways you will get more coverage if you use a brush though but i prefer to use my beauty blender just because it it helps in makeup really to sink into your skin and it looks like you know one it doesn't look like face then foundation it looks like one piece altogether it works cohesively you know so 
this is a really really great foundation I recommend that that is number two I will move on to this one and the third product that I recommend you trying now I recommend you trying these three products that I'm recommending are for people who have oily skin I do have oily skin and these products work really really well for me now this is the Urban Decay D Slick Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray this is my old one um, that I am trying to finish up right now it's almost done I probably have just about there left but since then they have since updated the packaging and I've yet to open this one and use it but let me show you what the new one looks like so this is what the new bottle looked like it, they come black and this is the old one and it does come with two covers I don't know why but I want to say that this um, setting spray could be about maybe 34 US dollars I want to say but oh my gosh this makeup spray extends the wear of your makeup so long I could use more dewy foundations and stuff with, with this um, setting spray and I get a very very long way out of this. Sometimes I even spray my beauty blender if I know I'm using a more dewy foundation. For instance, if I'm using this one and then I spray my beauty blender with this and then go over this, this helps to extend the wear of foundations because it is such a fantastic setting spray. It says D slick, it helps you not to be so slick and greasy and oily. This setting spray is the best setting spray that I have ever come across for anybody with oily skin. And I do have models own and all of those ones, but this setting spray has been the best one of the best finds for my skin that I have ever found and it really really helps to keep my makeup on for a very very long time and it helps you not to have to blot so often so if you know that you are going somewhere where you are going like a very it's very hot or anything like that I highly recommend to use that and you will get a much longer wear time out of your makeup using that setting spray it's fantastic fantastic um, in terms of drugstore uh, one other setting spray that I've come across that's good for drugstore is the NYX matte setting spray but sometimes that setting spray can be quite difficult to find and I want to say that I've had this for more than a year and I'm, I'm, I'm still going through this and I use this almost every single time I'm going to do my makeup three sprays and it does have a very even spread so let me see if I can show you guys yeah, it's a nice, a really, really nice mist. I just misted all of my legs. But, you know, the mist is nice and even. It has a pleasant smell. It's really, really nice. It This is worth it to help to extend the wear of your makeup. Moving on. So, um, this is not one product in particular. And I am going to show you four of them because I do own four of them. But any one of these or any one of these from this brand I would highly highly suggest you trying these I am talking about the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighters now I own quite a couple of the glow kits and individual highlighters and stuff but I have not found a more gorgeous highlight than from Anastasia Beverly Hills this is an OG one this is my um, so Hollywood highlighter how much i've used it i have really really used the hell out of this but this highlighter is gorgeous i have not found now i do have mac let me see for high end and i do have ofra and stuff but i really really suggest just try one anastasia highlighter and you will be blown away my newest one that I have added to my collection is the Amrezy one. You guys, look at the packaging on this. Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy. It comes with a mirror. Look at that. This is gorgeous. This one is a more pale gold than that one. So this one is the Amrezy one. And this one was my So Hollywood one beautiful these are really really glowy um they don't really have glitter in them it's just that the powders are very very um glowy i don't want to say glitter but they you can go light with these you can go heavy-handed with these you can just 
Oh, you can use them however you want. I actually have on Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter today, and I'll show you guys which one I have on. This one is um, the glow kit, uh, the sun dipped glow kit. It's another uh, one that I have, and this one just has look at the size of these fans. Never gonna finish that. But um, let me just show you guys one of them. This one is in tourmaline. Um, I'll show you this one is in moonstone. Yeah, this one is a more peachy one. This one is a more kind of bronzy one. They all kind of look the same because of my lighting. But let me see if I can swatch and show you guys the difference. Yeah, there you, you can see it there. These highlighters are so, so, so good. So pigmented. They're really, really worth the price of them. Um, I have my makeup wipe somewhere. Where is my makeup wipe? Oh, okay, because I want to show you the last one that I do have. But this is the best high-end highlighter I've ever come across. And this one, last but not least, this is the Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. This is the one that I do have on today. These glow kits don't come with mirrors. And this one has tons of shade. you get a, shades. You get a bronze, an orange, um, a kind of beige toned one, a peach one, a really gold one, and a white one. And today I do have these two mixed together, the white one and this one. Let me just swatch and show you guys. See if I could swatch the white one and show you. I don't want this to get all of my cardigan. That's the white one there. These powders are freaking fantastic. And you don't need to use a lot of them at all. You don't need to, to use a lot of the product because they are so, so pigmented. They come off easily, very easily. You kind of have to go a little easy Actually, if you don't, if you don't want to look so so glowy, you have to kind of use a light hand on them because they can give you a really really nice popping highlight, and that's actually how I like to look. I really I prefer a more standout highlight than a more subtle one. I know a lot of people like subtle highlighters, but I am not one of them. But if you are looking for the best bang for your buck in terms of highlight and a great high-end highlight i highly highly recommend you check out the anastasia highlighters worth it fantastic and then last but not least a high-end product that i think that you absolutely need to try are the liquid lipsticks from stila i do own tons of these I have all of my nude ones down there at the bottom. So how I usually buy these. Now, I don't own any full size of these. I usually wait until they go into little kits for Christmas time or whenever they have a special. And I purchase these because I get tons of colors to try. And even if I were to use these or use the big one, there's no way that I can ever finish a, a large regular size um liquid lipstick i just have so many other li liquid lipsticks that is it's gonna take a lot for me to finish up using a regular size liquid lipstick so these mini ones are perfect now i got these i believe these are from two past christmas sets but out of my all of my high-end ones i do have anastasia i have tart i have ofra um mm, that's about it for high, and I have Kat Von D. I think that's about all of the high end ones I do have. I think I may have one or two extra brands, I'm not sure. But this Stila brand has been the best, the best formula that I have ever tried. This thing lasts for hours and hours and hours. I could eat fried chicken and this freaking lipstick would still be there 10 hours after. This hardly ever needs to be reapplied unless you eat greasy things consistently. But I have went out, had lunch, had dinner and came back home and then this was still on. You just probably need to touch up this just the center of your lips. But this, when they really call it all day, it's still a stay all day liquid lip color they ain't lying these colors are so so good so i'm just gonna give you a swatch of a few i'm gonna show you the one that i actually am wearing right now this one is in 
patina shimmer so this is a new formula i think that they have tried out for uh, christmas that has gone so this is a liquid lipstick and they did put a shimmer factor in it but this is gorgeous i did put a little um gloss over it because i didn't feel to reapply i was in a car i just put a little gloss over it and i came up and i did my video but you guys this thing dries and then when it dries you can see a kind of iridescence gold you can kind of see it there on my lips look that gold part of it is from this because the gloss that i did put on was a clear just a clear gloss but this one is in patina shimmer uh, i'm going to show you this other shimmer one and this was in this is in beso so this is a shimmery red these things last so damn long you don't even really need to reapply when you're out and look at the pigment on them so 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 good let me show you a dark one this one is in Chianti so my favorite thing about this is how comfortable they are and besides them being comfortable they really freaking stay on all day you do not have to worry about these this one is Sogno which is a nude one you don't need to worry about reapplying at all so if you're going to work and you don't have time to stop to reapply these will be perfect for you i'm going to show you this last one and this one is in como which is a beautiful purple one the formula on these is boss yeah and these do dry down matte and so comfortable and so long lasting this is the best high-end formula that i've ever tried so yes i hope you guys um enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful i truly believe a hundred percent in any of these products if there's anything that you want to know about any of these products that i did not answer definitely leave me a question down below but if any of these were to get lost or misplaced or used up i would definitely repurchase these things in a heartbeat my setting spray holy grail this foundation holy grail for high end my primer holy grail for high end my anastasia highlighters and my stila stay all day liquid lipsticks best 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 so i chose these these products because they were the best in my opinion for high end products that i do have so yeah just wanted to share with you guys definitely check out any of these products and if you do let me know um if you do own any of these already let me know what do you think of them but um i just wanted to give you guys an idea of what i think is really important in my collection and for really good brands and products that you should look out for and i have already tested them for you guys i've been wearing these things for a long time more than two or three plus years i've used these things for that long and i truly truly believe in them that i would repurchase those in a heartbeat so yeah guys if you have any questions leave them down below i don't think that i could make to make another um video for you guys but tomorrow is another holiday so i will try to film the other video that i had in mind for you guys tomorrow so thank you so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you and i'll talk to you guys next time Bye.